Science is brought to you by Pluto Dent, radioactive toothpaste for a radiant smile. Hello everyone, this is Aaron from Explosions Incorporated, a subsidiary of Big Science, LLC. When you want science, you want big science. When you get big science, you get good science. Today we're going to be talking about the five signs of a chemical reaction. Sign number one, release of energy. When I ignited that piece of nitrocellulose, it released energy in the form of light, heat, light, and sound. Sign number two, color change. This one can be difficult to tell if it is a physical or a chemical reaction. One of the most common is the chemical reaction that causes your banana to go from looking like this to looking like this. Sign number three, formation of a gas. Inside this bottle, there is sodium hydroxide and aluminum. When water is added as a catalyst, it frees the hydrogen from the sodium hydroxide. Bubbles form, and it is captured in this balloon. We will come back to this. Sign number four, temperature change. Inside the bottle, with the sodium hydroxide, interacts with the aluminum in this bottle. As the hydrogen is being released from the sodium hydroxide. It also releases energy in the form of heat that is causing the temp raising the temperature. This is what we call an exothermic reaction. Exo means out, thermic means heat. Sign number five, formation of a precipitate. In this cup, I have a liquid. This is polyvinyl alcohol, also known as liquid plastic. If we add another liquid, liquid laundry starch, and then we stir, a chemical reaction occurs. The two liquids combine chemically. Bonds are formed on the molecular level, and the two liquids form a solid. This is formation of a precipitate. Those are the five most common signs of a chemical reaction. But before we go, we need to deal with the hydrogen that we have created in our balloon. You may have noticed that now the balloon is floating. This is because hydrogen with one proton and one electron is the lightest of all of the elements. It is lighter than helium, although helium is what we use in our balloons normally. That is because hydrogen reacts violently when exposed to energy and air. It is always important to remember that when doing science, proper safety equipment is a must. a release of energy. Once again, release of energy is a sign of a chemical reaction. Thank you very much for watching our video today. Please stay tuned for next week's edition when we will be talking about science. I'm Aaron with Explosions Incorporated.